Well, obviously the smoke kept many from their normal Sunday hikes, runs and walks, but not one Boise woman who ran in the Boise edition of the famous Boston Marathon. Like so many other outdoor events, the marathon went virtual this year, meaning those who qualify ran in their hometowns from Boston to Buffalo to Boise. Our Gretchen Parsons caught up with Sarah Quillacy, who braved through the smoke today. This was a Boston Marathon unlike any other, hopefully in any of our lifetimes, Gretchen. Yeah, definitely, Mark. And uh, fun fact, Sarah is actually the sister of our meteorologist Bree Eggers. She says running one of the most famous marathons virtually was different, and the smoke certainly didn't help the situation. But it wasn't all bad. Sarah says there was something really special about this race. Sarah Quillacy is no newcomer to the Boston Marathon. Sunday was her second stint. After the, the Boston Marathon bombings, or there was a lot there was a lot of security around the course and um, you know it, it was it, my sister Brie Eggers actually did the marathon with me. 2020's Boston Marathon was much different. Quillacy ran the course in Boise, which she said was a nice change of pace. I grew up here and it was incredible to run the marathon around so many places in Boise. Um, the the hard part was the air quality. Over the course of her 26.2 mile trek, Quillacy says the smoke got worse toward the end of her run. Around mile 13, I was sort of starting to feel it. I felt okay until then. About mile 22, I kind of got a side a side stitch, and I don't usually do that. And, and I was just wondering, is it because I'm not able to get in all the oxygen that I need to be getting in right now? I don't know. Um, but it, And so now I'm just trying to spend the rest of the day inside to, to make sure I'm flushing out all of the, the bad air. Despite the poor air quality, Quillacy says her friends and family made this day special. The part that made me really tear up was my friends and family supporting me. Um, I had a friend who came every four miles and brought me oranges and water, and, and he showed up faithfully every four miles to bring that. And um, my running coach and another friend that I run with they had signs up that that showed me that I was entering these cities in Boston and Quillacy's family was able to support her and keep her company along the way, something that would have never happened in Boston. This is my seventh marathon and in all my marathons, I've wished that they could ride their bike with me. And so they got to my my oldest son ran rode his bike with me for half of it, 13.1 miles. And then I have two daughters and they each split up the second half of the marathon and did six and a half with me. And then I have a three and a half year old son and he he was at the finish line running through the finish with me. And this coming weekend is Boise's annual Fit One race. That is also taking place virtually. You have the option of running a 5K, 10K, or a half marathon. You can also still sign up, uh, sign up for that. Just look for this story on our website. And once again, that's happening this weekend. She's amazing. I'll tell you what, I, I took out the trash today and I was out there for about a minute and a half and I said, oh, I better get back in. Yeah, that was about enough. Just, <laughs> just that. <laughs> I didn't go 26.2 miles. No. Incredible. Whew. Way to go, Sarah. You're an inspiration for sure.